Alright guys, so we are going to start out working uh, this worksheet. This is say lesson 23 in the top right. Um, so we're going to start here with number one. Alright, so the first problem, you should be able to read it um, even if you don't have your worksheet. Now remember, work these problems one time before I do them here. Alright guys, that way uh, you know you can remember the stuff a little better that way. So we'll read it over. Room is 80 degrees before the air conditioner is turned on. The air conditioner lowers the temperature at a rate of negative 3 degrees per minute. Which equation can be used to determine the time in minutes until the room temperature is 75? So what's the important stuff? The important thing is it's 80 degrees. It uh, lowers at 0 0.3 per minute. Which equation can be used to determine the time until 75? Okay. Well, until it's 75 degrees, we're trying to figure out when the temperature equals 75. It starts at 80, then it goes down, it lowers at 0.3 degrees per minute. Minute, we're going to call T. So which one of those? 75 equals 80 minus 0.3 T. A. All right, that's a very simple problem. It's one of the easiest, okay? So now we're going to work on problem number two. Alright, so now number two, the amount of food Carl's dog eats C is two times the amount of food that Amy's dog eats A, which equation shows the amount of food Amy's dog eats. Alright, so Carl's dog is C. Amy's dog um, is the A. So Carl's dog eats two times the amount of food that Amy's dog eats. Okay? So the best way to do this, sometimes this confuses people. Let's use actual numbers. If Amy's dog, okay, for example, eats one pound of food, right? LB means pound, that's a symbol for pound. Therefore, Carl's dog is gonna eat two pounds of food. So you could just look at which formula does this one and two work. If I plug a one in for here, and then I get two plus two, plus two right? If I put a one for there, I'm just gonna show y'all every one. I'm gonna plug in a one, and a two, I'll we'll plug in a one, and a two, I'll we'll plug in a one, and a two. All right, if I plug this in, that's saying one equals two plus two. So one equals four, no, that's not true. Here, this is saying one equals two divided by two. Yeah, one equals one, that's fine. Look at here, one equals two divided by two. Well, that one also works, just two divided by two is one. One equals two times two, four. All right, so that one definitely does not work. So now let's figure out, okay, so one and two give us two options. What if we change that up a little bit? What if we put something like uh, A equals, uh, she eats three pounds, and uh, therefore Carl's dog would eat six pounds. All right, that's a six, not a B. Okay, so we, let's plug it in there, uh, these two choices that we have left. Um, three pounds for A, and six pounds for C, three pounds for A, six pounds for C. It says that three equals two over six. No, let's say two over six is like a third. Three does not equal a third, right? Well, those two equal each other. But three does not equal that, therefore we can eliminate G. Let's just make sure this works. Three equals six over two. Six divided by two is three. Three, therefore, equals three. So our correct answer is H. That's the easiest way to do it, is plug in actual values for that, okay? So let's go ahead and move on um, to number three. So that's kind of a cheating way to do it, but you know, we're just trying to get as many problems as we can right on the tax, all right? So look at this next one. The phone company charges flat rate of $10 per month, 50 cents per minute for long distance calls, which equation will show the total monthly bill B as it depends on the amount of time T um, for long distance calls. So B, you're, playing a, you're paying a flat rate, $10 per month, plus how much are you paying per minute? 50 cents. So 0 0.5 times T is the amount that you are paying per minute. Okay? So therefore, B equals 10 plus 0.5 T, that answer 
is going to be the. All right, another pretty simple problem. Now we're going to move on to question number four. We're going to number four here. We've got three more. Uh, rainwater collection tank nearly full at a level of 120. All right, this is going to be important information. The water will be used at a rate that lowers the level six inches per day. All right. Which equation can be used to determine the time it will take in days, okay, to lower the level to three inches? So we're trying to figure out when is it going to be three inches? Well, what does it start at? It starts at 120. It lowers. It's going down at six inches per day. You see that T is the variable that we use. So we're taking away six inches times T. So three equals 120 minus six T. So your correct answer is going to be H. You could obviously solve for T. I'm going to solve for T. You don't have to in this problem. Why don't you try to solve for T right now? So pause the video, try to solve for T, okay? And see if you get the same answer that I'm about to get. So now I'm going to solve for T, okay? First thing I want to do is get the T alone if I'm solving for this variable. Now there's going to be some negatives here, but don't worry. So you're going to subtract 120 from both sides, all right? 3 minus 120 is going to be a negative 117 equals negative 6, uh, negative 6t. Now I'm going to divide by negative 6. All right. So t is going to equal negative 117 divided by negative 6. I'm going to get a calculator for that because I don't think that's going to come out to be a whole answer, to be a whole number. I'm sorry. So I'm going to do it here. I'm going to do uh, negative 117 divided by a negative 6, and I get 19 and a half which means it's going to take 19.5 days in order for the water to reach 3 inches. Okay, So 19.5. If you're interested in solving for T, it doesn't ask you to, but I'm just doing some extra work to give you some extra practice. Now let's look at number 5. Alright, now we got an inequality. Trying to, it's starting to get a little bit more difficult. Sarah has volunteered to contribute juice boxes and health bars to a care package. She has $25 to spend. All right. The juice boxes cost $1.25, health bars cost $0.75 cent each. Which inequality shows how many juice boxes J and health bars B she could buy and stay within her budget? First thing, remember I said whenever we're talking about these, use a word because this is a lot of information here. Okay. How much money does she have to spend? She has $25 to spend. Okay, now the money she actually spent, okay, right? So the money she spends, obviously, she cannot spend more than she has, right? So therefore, it must be 25 must be greater than or equal to the amount of money she spends, right? She must spend less than or equal to $25. She can't, she can't go over that. That's why we know the inequality sign goes this way. Okay, so automatically, all right, we'll try to figure out what the equation is for money spent. But we know that 25 is greater than or equal to this. Look, 25 less than, 25 less than. We can automatically eliminate A and B by just putting this into words. Now let's come up with an equation for the money spent. So 25 greater than or equal to the money spent. Well, she buys juice boxes for $1.25 each. Juice boxes are J, so she's going to pay $1.25 times every juice box. Also, she gets some health bars. Health bars, 75 cents. Health bars are B plus 0 0.75 health bars B. So 25 is greater than or equal to 1.25J plus 0.75B, which is right here. Bam. So our correct answer is going to be C. Okay. As long as you do this step first, it's going to make the problem pretty easy. Don't get overloaded with too much information because sometimes it's hard to keep track of it. Now we're going to move on to the last problem, number six. All right, number six says the party planning committee needs at least $500 for the cost of the end of year party. All right. The committee now has $75 five weeks until the date of the party, which inequality shows the rate R at which money must be raised in dollars per week to meet the committee's need. 
All right, first of all, how much do they need? They need at least 500. So we have 500 on one side, and we have the money raised on the other. All right, must this 500 be, um, is it possible that they can raise more than 500 and still, and still have raised at least 500? Yes, right? If they raise more than 500, that's a good thing. If they raise less than 500, they will not reach their um, they will not reach their goal, the cost needed, okay? So we know that 500 must be less than or equal to the money raised or the money raised must be greater than or equal to the $500, okay? Now all we need to do is come up with an equation for money raised. It says that the committee now has 75, okay, and has five weeks until the date of the party. So, that's their money raised. Well, they have $75 now plus five weeks. Inequality shows the rate R at which money must be raised, okay? So, they're going to raise R dollars per week in five weeks. So, this inequality will allow you to see that they must raise R dollars per week for five weeks plus the $75 must be greater than or equal to 500. This total amount raised must be greater than or equal to the $500, okay? Let's figure this out real quick. Let's try to solve for this. Figure out this R, okay? Well, let me, let me put the correct answer first. The correct answer is gonna be the F, right? 500 less than or equal to 75 plus 5R. So pause this video right now and see if you can find the R, okay? Take a second, see if you find this R before I do, all right? Now let's find the R. First thing we need to do is get the R alone. We handle this just like an equal sign, right? So if you want to be, I'll be real precise for this one since you haven't seen me solve this. Same thing, divide it into two parts right here, okay? You're gonna subtract 75 from both sides. 500 minus 75 is gonna be 425 is less than or equal to 5R. Now you just divide by five. And uh, you could do that with the calculator if you want. Um, I don't have to do that with the calculator because I know five goes into 100 20 times. You got 400, so 20 times four is 80. And then uh, five goes into 25 five times. So therefore, 85 is less than or equal to R. Or R is greater than or equal to 85. What does that mean? That means 85 is the minimum amount per week that they need to raise in order to reach their goal of $500. If they raise more than that per week, that's a good thing, right? They'll still get $500, okay? So that's lesson 23. I hope it all made sense, and uh, lesson 24 will be coming up in a moment.